Hey guys, so the New Year raid has arrived. Before we go and check that out, I just want to quickly follow up uh, the video that I made earlier today, or I guess technically yesterday, uh, talking about the free LF characters you can actually obtain via this right here. So uh, you get the New Year's gift bags from the Happy New Year's raid, as well as a login bonus and missions. So if you scroll down here, it looks like um, you can get the uh, login bonus here. Obviously, this is going to be for New Year's. So you log in uh, anywhere between the 1st of January and the 18th of January. That is, by the way, the 18th of January is the final day of Legends Festival. So this is technically going to be, uh, you know, a one-time only login bonus that you'll be able to get if you log in in that like th that um, like two and a half week period, right? So make sure you do that. It says if you log in for one, seven, and ten days. Oh, actually, it's one, seven, and ten days. Okay, so it looks like not only do you want to log in one time, but at least. 10 so you get the full amount of rewards for this so definitely worth doing that because you're going to be able to get again free legends limited characters that way uh there's going to be missions available as well uh this freeze of things coming out as well i think tomorrow so let me quickly take a look at the missions here and see what kind of stuff they have should be under events happy new year's raid yeah just like get limited time rewards a certain amount of times okay uh, anything else? I think that's it. Okay, well, let's go check out the raid itself here. I believe this raid is in the format of the World Challenge Raid. So this is Raid Boss Strikes. It's against Super Saiyan 2 Goku. Interesting. So, yeah, this is not the same format as the raids that we've had up until this point that are, have been a part of Legends Festival. This is the newer format of raids where you get rewards based on how many, I guess, how much damage you've done and stuff like that. So, uh, we can go ahead and take a look at the bonus characters. Obviously, it's going to be Gogeta, and I guess the new Frieza coming out tomorrow is also going to be a bonus character as well. Um, <laughs> so they gave Ultra characters specifically extra damage and Dragon Ball chance up and then Fusion. So obviously, Ultra Gogeta is going to be the character that you want to use for this, but then other than that, I would say starting tomorrow, Frieza looks like the one you probably are going to want to use. Uh, you could also just go ahead and opt to use, like, if you have, like, Ultra Super Saiyan Goku farmed up, and let's say you don't have Gogeta, for example, you could use him, you could use the Ultra Vegeta as well. I think, actually, Vegeta probably would be better because of the debuffs that he applies to the enemy, so I'm thinking those are probably the two characters you want to use. Fusion characters as well get an extra 150% damage up, so someone like Zenkai Super Gogeta, the red one, could also be pretty good because he has uh, card draw speed, able to get his Rising Rush pretty quickly. Um, but what we're going to do here is we are going to do uh, at least two runs through this event here. I'm going to do the first one with Gogeta, and then we'll do the next run with somebody else that isn't Gogeta in case you guys don't have access to him and see how they compare to each other. So the rewards here, you're going to be able to get the Happy New Year Medal. We'll check out the shop for that in a second. And it looks like there's going to be great dual coins here as well, which is actually pretty good because the way you obtain one of the new Awakened Equipment, uh, the, the, it's the Vegito Blue Awakened Equipment, you actually need those great uh, dual coins to get the memories for that. You can get Z-Power for Sparking, Extreme, you can get Platinum Coins and um, Erasers, and then the challenges are just you know, standard stuff. Um, and then the actual raid rewards here, so this, this is the damage rewards. These damage rewards apply to you as long as you fulfill the condition of depleting this health bar. So as long as you deal this health bar in damage, you'll get access to those rewards like based off of what uh, other people are doing in the raid as well. Let me go back to the raid rewards here. And then these are your combat rewards. So these are your individual rewards. So this is what you're going to get depending on how many points you obtain. So like, you know, 1100 here. You need 1800 for this one and so all the way down to the bottom if you get 7500 points in total across this raid then you'll be able to obtain all the reward necessary that you need for this um, and then again once again this is a collective bonus you're going to get these rewards depending on how everybody basically in the world does against this raid so let's go and quickly check out the exchange shop i assume it's probably just going to be the same um, as we've had in the previous raids but maybe they change it up for the new year let's see um, and then we'll go ahead and jump into the actual raid itself here. Um, all right, let's see. Come on. Uh, this is right here. Yeah, it looks pretty much the same. So you can get Sparking Z-Power, Extreme Z-Power, Platinum Coins, Slot Removers, Zenkai Souls, Super Souls, Regular Souls, and then you can get, uh, you know, this is, okay, this is, yeah, this is the literally the exact same shop that we had for the other raids. So that does not change. Um... So let's go ahead and jump into the first 
match with uh, this Gogeta. I mean, I already have the team built for him, so let's go ahead and just sh jump in here. Yes, don't show again, thank you. And we'll see who we get here as my buddy. Again, Gogeta, <laughs> definitely the best character to use for the raid. They, uh, they clearly want you to pull for the newer character, which is why they do that. Um, but historically, these raids have not been that tough to, to do. So yeah, there we go, Ultra Gogeta. Um, so even if you don't have Ultra Gogeta, again, I think you can take somebody like the Ultra Vegeta, who gets another buff from the uh, the bonuses there to help you out. But let's see how well this Gogeta does. Let's see how fast we can clear this. I assume this is going to be very, very easy. Uh, does it play the Ultra Intro? That's what I want to know. Okay, it does not. Thank God. <laughs> Imagine if it played the Ultra Intro every time you zoned into this. That would suck. All right, let's see. <clears throat> let's just farm up our Dragon Balls here. Gotta use this. There's another Dragon Ball in there. Alright, so we'll farm up our rush. Gonna wait for my buddy to get his rush. He has one more Dragon Ball left. A lot of blue cards being used. That's just what you expect with Gogeta here. Alright, get your rush, get your rush, get your rush, get your rush. Hello? Okay, we'll just rush, I guess. That's, that's re my partner refuses to do anything. Let's go green. Can we kill him without even doing a double rush? So let's see. I think we can. It's gonna be close. Oh, okay. So we we didn't even need to double rush. As long as one person rushes, he's dead. Okay, so that's pretty good. Uh, we'll be right back, and I'll make another team with a different character. We got one medal. Okay. Well. <laughs> I was kind of hoping they would drop Hoi Poi coins as well, but it does not look like that's the case. All right, so this is the setup that I'm going to go with uh, for Ultra Vegeta as the unit that I'm going to be using here. So he's a uh, pretty good setup here. Triple Zenkai buffed. We got a bunch of offensive buffs here. And keep in mind that the reason why this works is because of the bonus that Ultra characters get. They get 200% uh, increased damage and then 25% to Dragon Ball chance. So... Even though this Vegeta is not going to be doing as much damage as Gogeta was going to be doing, he does actually provide the debuffs every time he uses the Striker Blast card, which means that your uh, buddy, if they bring Ultra Gogeta, they'll be able to do more damage with their Gogeta. So, okay, this guy's bringing Ultra Goku, that's fine. Let's go ahead and see uh, how much of a difference this makes in terms of how fast we're able to clear this. Keep in mind, Gogeta, while he does do the most damage by far, can get a little bit clunky to use just because of how many blue cards he's going to have to use to like get his Rising Rush ready and stuff like that. So it actually might take a little longer to use Gogeta, I'm thinking, but we'll see. If it is longer, it's not going to be by much. So let's take a look and see how fast we're able to clear this with two Ultra characters that are not Gogeta, who you guys should all have by this point because they're free. So let's see how fast this is. So I'm just going to just use all my cards here. Look at the debuffs we're applying here. Oh, he's actually he's canceling them all. Okay, I guess it's putting his shields up. He's able to cancel debuffs. Let's see. Okay, so now the debuff should not be canceled anymore. Are they? Let's see. That's still good damage. Okay, gotta wait for my buddy to get his rush. Yeah, there are the debuffs starting to stack up there. Is that? All right now, let's rush. Okay. Okay. Apparently, he didn't want to rush. <laughs> let's go strike. This this boss would a hundred percent would have died if. My buddy also decided to rush there, but for whatever reason, he didn't want to rush, so... I don't think the boss is going to die, but... I mean, that's a lot of damage. That that should... That should definitely be a dead boss if he did a rush at the same time as me. Hey, there's his rush. Let's go ahead and use Strike again. This should kill him for sure. Okay, or not. <laughs> this is a very unlucky run here. Let's go and press this. I mean, assuming your buddy has a brain, <laughs> you'll be able to double up your rushes and kill the boss in the same amount of time, pretty much, as you would with a Gogeta buddy, so... Or a Gogeta uh, fighter on your team, so... Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm pretty content with this. I think, again, Ultra Gogeta does take a little bit of time to get his Rising Rush going, just because of the fact that he needs to use his blue cards. And he draws so many blue cards. Um, just through his unique gauge filling up over and over again that you're probably going to have like t at least one or two blue cards per run that have a Dragon Ball on them, so you're going to have to watch the animation over and over again. 
Um, so I'm thinking it actually might be easier to do this with Ultra Vegeta or Ultra Goku. Uh, there's an eraser, okay. Uh, but yeah, uh, again, pretty easy raid to make sure you guys do farm this up. Uh, as you want to make sure that you're getting all those New Year's gift bags as you can in order to exchange for the Legends Limited characters listed here. Um, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Happy farming, and I'll see you all in the next one.